My goodness, the Biafran government in Ezra is seriously pursuing diplomatic measure in all types on every means in order to bring Biafra to his people. Now, guys, one good thing you will see here, this is what people are calling in Africa, not just you having a president or a leader. The way they address the leader and the way the leader is recognized matters in international figure. Look at how they address the Biafran government in Ezai Prime Minister here. Thank you, Your Excellency. That is a very huge honor. This is a recognition by even as these people are there to lobby in Biafran government in Ezai today, American um, Parliament. The recognition and the respect is something that you need to appreciate so hard. You see, while we talk about uh, Ibrahim Torre, we love the respect he's commanding among Africa's and other world leaders. So look at how the Biafran government in Asia is building those respects. And think this, if Biafra should restore, all Africa will be okay and be respected around the world. So you, if you are in Biafra, any part of tribe you are around the world, please support the Biafra government in Asia. Support the movement of Biafra and you see how Africa will feel in the face of the war. Thank you. Well, thank you, Your Excellency. Uh, my name is Jim Moran. Uh, I served in the United States Congress uh, for approximately a quarter of a century. After I left the Congress, uh, I began to uh, represent some corporations and countries and causes that I believe in. Uh, it has been uh, an honor to work with you, Your Excellency. Uh, uh, Elias Garasoulis uh, is my partner. Uh, this is uh, primarily uh, uh, Elias's uh, account, but uh, I'm going to be working with him. Um, while I was in the Congress, I uh, was on the committee that funds defense and State Department foreign operations, as well as the Foreign Relations Committee. I have an interest in Africa. I was a principal uh, co-sponsor of the African Growth and Opportunity Act. But most importantly, I do believe that um, uh, Biafran independence uh, is a uh, just and noble cause. Uh, and I trust that you have a bright future ahead. We will try to uh, secure your independence. Uh, we can't promise because the politics is not a particularly uh, predictable situation in the United States today, and justice is not all we serve, but we will work towards that objective. Um, I, uh, I appreciate uh, the opportunity uh, to work on behalf of the Biafran people, and at this point, let me turn it over to Elias. Elias? Oh, thank, thank you, Jim, and it's an uh, honor to be working with you on this, and we appreciate your you're lending uh, your support, someone of your prestige and stature. Uh, that that association would be so critical. So thank you, Jim. I, I appreciate it. And thank you, uh, Mr. Prime Minister, uh, your excellencies, and dear Biafrans in the United States and around the world. Uh, my name is Elias Yersoulis, and I uh, am a good friend and a colleague of uh, Congressman Moran, and we are your new lobbyists here in Washington, D.C. Uh, however, you should know that we are more than just your lobbyists. We are fellow freedom fighters in the struggle for the liberation by Africa. And similar to how your compatriots in the Biafran Defense Forces are securing your freedom on the homeland, we will be fighting for your freedom in the political and diplomatic battlefield here in Washington, D.C. And we will make sure that all these U.S. officials, all these congressmen and senators understand that the Biafran independence movement is a pure democratic civilian uprising against injustice, the very same one that we had in the United States when we declared our independence from the British 200 years ago. On a personal level, uh, I knew I had to get involved in this struggle, not only because of my belief in the Biafran cause, but my belief in His Excellency, the Prime Minister Simon Ekpa. As I got to know the Prime Minister, I could see that he has remarkable leadership qualities and vision. And I knew that instinctively that he was a man of destiny and that he will have a very important um, impact in Africa uh, in the years to come. And I thought it was a personal duty uh, to assist him. Already, the prime minister has made uh, remarkable progress and has outsmarted uh, the Nigerian system in many ways. The prime minister has done this with the self-referendum. 
He has done this with opening uh, diplomatic liaison offices around the world. And I think by establishing a proper Biafran lobby in Washington, D.C., the prime minister has delivered his master stroke. And if you can uh, look at the Nigerian media and the social media, uh, you will see that this is something that's been uh, highly publicized. And I think this is because they understand the moment that the United States starts to gain uh, more support for the Biafran cause, it will be uh, a game changer. Because when the United States leads, other countries follow. Congressman Moran and myself are your voice to the U.S. Congress, your voice to the White House, your voice to the State Department, your voice to the highest offices in this great land. And we will not stop until victory is achieved. Long live a free, independent, and sovereign Biafra. Thank you, Mr. Prime Minister. Thank you very much. Thank you very much for that brilliant speech there. Layas, we are happy to have you on board, and uh, we have a lot of things to do together. Thank you. Uh, this particular uh, you know, appearance today is just to present you to the Biafrans in the United States. As I made my promise, I have fulfilled it. It is now that we go out there and do what we know how to do best for the interest Thank of Biafra. Thank you, Mr. Prime Minister. Thank it's our much. honor, and we look forward to uh, serving you in the cause. Thank you, Mr. Prime Thank Minister. You, Thank you very much. Nice to have Thank you, Mr. Prime Minister. It was a pleasure Thank to you. see you again. Thank you. Look Thank forward you. to working with you. Thank you. Bye. Thank you, Chief Thank you.